Okay, pet parents, let's continue our series on diabetes with a little ditty about diabetic cataracts and why so many dogs get it compared to people and cats. And look, I apologize for those of you that stayed because I said I would be performing a ditty. I shan't be performing such a thing. Bet told me diabetes gonna be all mine. Also told me I should prepare to go blind. I said I won't be performing. You yeah, cut. Obviously, in order to understand what diabetic cataracts is, you gotta understand what the hell a cataract is in the first place. And to do that, we need to know about the parts of the eyeball. All right, so there's a whole bunch of different parts to the eyeball, but for the purposes of talking about a cataract, what we're really gonna focus on is a part called the lens. Focus on, because we're talking about the lens. <laughs> That's an ophthalmology joke. You may not get it yet, but you will. That was a hell of a pun, but all joking aside, you can think of the lens of the eyeball like any other lens. It's this clear thing in the dead center of the eye that focuses all the light coming into the eye onto the back part of the eye called the retina so the pet can see a clear and sharp image. Normally, the lens is crystal clear, allowing a lot of light to go in, but when a cataract forms, the lens gets really cloudy, which causes less and less light to get to the back of the eye, which will reduce vision. As a visual representation of a lens with a cataract, think of this glass here as a lens. And yeah, I know it's a wine glass, just I, I have an alcohol problem, right? Just drop it. Normally the lens is crystal clear and you can see everything behind it. But if we take some of this tasty milk here, I know that it's not real milk, it's silk, but just I, I have a dairy problem too, okay? And pour it into the glass, you can start to see that the glass is becoming cloudy and you can't see anything through it. That's what happens with a cataract. The reason that cloudiness happens in diabetic patients is because the lens gets all of its nutrients from the fluid in the eyeball. And with a diabetic patient, there's a lot more glucose or sugar in that fluid. And as the sugar builds up and just sits there, an enzyme called aldose reductase will convert that sugar into a sugar alcohol called sorbitol. And the big problem with sorbitol is it's what we call a hyperosmotic molecule, which means it draws water in. So when there's a whole bunch of this molecule floating around in the lens, it's gonna pull an excessive amount of water into the lens which leads to the cloudiness or the cataract formation and unfortunately when it comes to diabetic dogs and cataract formation the vast majority of diabetic dogs will develop cataracts with about 80 percent of them developing it within one to two years of the original diagnosis of diabetes and i know what you're thinking you're thinking well why are dogs more prone to getting it than people and in cats and the answer is actually really simple the reason dogs are more prone to it is because they have a significantly higher amount of aldose reductase in their eye which means they more readily convert glucose into sorbitol when compared to cats and people but that's just how it goes when you got a blue sugar blue